Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. This video is for my TikTok channel. Um, it is about all that I care about. All I care about is justice, right? Females, time ran out maybe a year or more ago, about a year and several months ago, I'd say, um, to really make it so that we, you know, I could have a worthwhile relationship with somebody. So now all I care about is justice. Um, their pecking order argument is very despicable to me. Um, all throughout life, they basically try to plant women in my life and they, they structure the world in a way that there's cultural barriers to make it hard for me to get attractive women. And then the more attractive ones, they kind of did things to give away that they had sex with them first or whatever. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't respect people who do that. Um, they're better off bragging about having raped 100 kids than to pretend that they're above the top martial arts ever possible by being some spoiled English person or something or some spoiled Jew or LGBT person or token minority and to brag that they had sex with some female first. I mean, it's very immature. You know, when you see that someone is from a morally mighty martial art line, my dad's a, a tall brain surgeon who's a very strong person historically, okay, a very mature person. And you see these immature frat guys and these royals and these social club guys. Again, no offense to anybody, it's just the bottom line. Um, and they're, they're acting like that makes them important on behalf of some rich people who try to pretend that they're above more, more, they're trying to pretend that money's above wealth when in their own Greek system, Socrates said that the pursuit of virtue is greater than the pursuit of wealth. It's very hypocritical, very disgusting. I don't respect it. So all I care about is justice, okay? If people abuse the poor, they're going to be punished in the afterlife, right? That's part of justice. You know, I don't care so much if my family all gets killed because, you know, that's not going to stop me because I care about justice. They're going to get punished to the extreme for it in the afterlife. Don't care. Don't care if everyone in the world gets tortured to death, including me. I'm not here to worry about those things. I'm here to identify the enemies of God, those who cheat me out of my right to lead, those who make it personal with me, those who argue that their sexual powers are greater than true romantic love from God, things of this nature, right? Things that really go deep, okay? I'm here to identify them, and eventually my flesh dies. Even if I committed suicide, it wouldn't matter because that's not my concern here. My concern is to finish the task at whatever point it makes sense to leave this world one way or another, okay, and to punish the enemies of God. When I think about this idea, you know, all ideas of eternal paradise aren't so important, ideas of having a beautiful woman in the afterlife isn't so important, all that matters is justice. It is clear to me that females on this planet never achieved a state of being that made them a suitable helper for, for me or anybody who was anything close to me. Okay, there is no gender equality, no offense to anybody, there, there isn't. No female's ever done anything comparable to me. However, other guys have let females down to the extreme, and that's why, that is exactly why, at the highest level, that females are not suitable for me. God gave people a certain amount of free will, other guys blew it into next week. And to know that these people give these females who they bred to be not too intelligent uh, orders about who to date is utterly sickening. And they'll be punished to the extreme for it in the afterlife, as well as their offspring. Few things are more pitiful than the souls of those people and their offspring and their families who have died already being grouped together in the afterlife and suffering together because they clung on to some kind of organized rape by deception and worm rebel family culture and rejected the true spirit of God.